Greetings, gardening fans. Well, welcome to the very first episode of Savage North Gardens. Like you, I guess, I'm interested in gardening videos. I recently joined YouTube because I like to watch videos, and I thought, why not throw some garbage of my own out there? Anyway, there's not much to show you here. It's Sunday, February 10th, about 3.30 in the afternoon. It's about minus 3. Pretty pleasant day, I guess, here in northern Alberta. What we're looking at here is a very lonely Brussels sprout left over from last year. He does get attention from rabbits once in a while. I follow people from different areas in the States. I follow a guy in Minnesota, another guy in North Carolina, South Carolina, New Jersey. But I haven't really found anybody in Canada, or Northern Canada, I guess, that I really like. I'm hoping that maybe I can generate some interest and find somebody that gardens a little closer to where I live. Uh, maybe we could share information, what works and what doesn't work, I guess, in our specific geographic region. For example, uh, I want to share some stuff on onions. For years I used to grow onions from sets, you know those little bulbs that you can buy? They're easy to plant and they're cheap and uh, I've always been happy with them and then I thought I'd try planting onions from seed. And now here in northern Alberta I guess we need a, what they call a, a long daylight type of onion. So I ordered some. Two years ago this is what I ordered from Stokes. I don't know if you can see that. I bought ricochet, that's a yellow onion. And I also bought for a red onion, they're called red zeppelin. I had good luck with both of these onions and I can tell you from experience if you've never grown onions from seeds I would highly recommend it. I don't think I'll ever plant the sets again. The onions are uh, way bigger generally. This is a good range I guess in size. There's a smaller one and a larger one. They store really well. I had onions. I put them from my cold room into the crisper in the fridge in May and I had them right until mid-August before I threw them out so they do store really well. Another thing that I've noticed on the internet is people tell you to plant your onions in January. I planted my onions the last two years in March 18th and 19th. So uh, if you're going to order some onion seed, you still have some time for this year. Yeah, so Ricochet and Red Zeppelin, those are two good onions that I would recommend planting here in northern Alberta. Today I'm going to be planting some peppers and some celery. I've always grown peppers from uh, greenhouse supplies. I've just bought the plants. Uh, last year I tried peppers for the first time and uh, I found that I actually had some peppers to throw in the freezer and there was lots of peppers on the plants versus one or two peppers and very limited success. Again, ordering seeds, you can choose an earlier variety, something that's better suited to where you live. February 26th last year, I seeded Red Start peppers and also Sweet Heat and Cajun Bell peppers. I tried those three peppers last year and I had success on all of them. We had warm nights in June, which really helped last year. This year I'm seeding them earlier just to make sure that we're okay because we did have an exceptionally good year last year. So, let's get started. Okay, so I use this seed starting mix like I'm sure everybody else does. And I got trays here for peppers and for the celery that I'm also going to be doing today. Level it off. Sweeps up easy afterwards. And I take my trusty dibbler. Incidentally, I've decided to go cheap this year. I saved my seeds from last year. So I'm going to try and see if they germinate. It's just kind of a little experiment. That's partially why I'm starting it a little bit earlier than last year. If they don't come up, then I still have the store bought seeds. Incidentally, I accidentally dropped all the seeds on my garage floor last year. So what I have here is a mix of all three types of seeds. So it'll be a surprise. 
surprise. And apparently I didn't know. I found this out too. Um, peppers will cross pollinate like corn. So I had a sweet pepper that's now got a little bit of spice to it because of the cross pollination. Of course my camera died uh, before I could seed the celery. Here's what I seeded. Uh, it's another seed that I ordered from Stokes. Don't get me wrong, I like hardware store seed just fine. Uh, I've got lots of hardware store type seed I've been using since 2009 when I started gardening here in this house. If you've seen the amount of seeds that I got in this package, you know why I'll probably buy from a hardware store again next year. Celery is notoriously difficult to germinate. You can't even find it uh, very often in greenhouses for that very reason. Uh, usually I'm pretty stingy with the seeds, but not with celery. I like to use lots of seeds because it, it does, it'll take a month to come up and uh, it is very sporadic. Anyway, I've got it now in a south facing window and we'll water it. We'll get it started. usually fill it about two-thirds full. If there's leftover water, I'll dump it out. Uh-oh. So anyway, that's going to do it. That'll be the uh, end of the first installment here at Savage North Gardens. I really like the subscriptions that I have through YouTube. I really like the videos that I watch. But if there's anybody here in Alberta that wants to document their uh, own personal successes and failures, I'd really be interested in seeing what you have and what works for you. Uh, anyway, in my next video, uh, it should be a little more interesting than today, I'm going to give a tour of a mobile greenhouse that I have. Like most people, I'm kind of limited for space. I don't have a greenhouse out in my yard. But I do have a greenhouse that I wheel in and out of the garage, and uh, I find it very useful. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody.